Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about The Emperor's New Groove. So this TV show is about a llama. And this llama got cursed by this witch. And when this llama got cursed by this witch, he basically was unrecognisable. So he basically spent the whole of the seasons trying to claim back his throne. And I wanted to talk about, um, also he had an accomplice, which was like a slave or a peasant, but he was mad bulky and strong. And I wanted to talk about the llama and how the llama is beautiful in the Native American culture. So the llama represents royalty. Obviously, fun fact about me, my name actually means, means noble, just letting you guys know. But yeah, the llama represents royalty. And it also represents loyalty and abundance. And the llama is able to hold and store a lot of water and is able to travel long distances without having to stop. For also, I wanted to give you some divine messages from your ancestors because I feel like a lot of the chosen beings are going under like heavy attacks, especially if if you've been repeating like vicious cycles just email me let me know because i want to know what you lot have been going through because for me yeah it's like i've been in this like karmic loop and it's like it's trying to repeat itself but it's not successful so i want to know what you guys have to think about it but anyways your ancestors are saying pray heavy attacks karma jealous of goals celtic ancestors so you may have ancestors from like ireland or like scottish or welsh ancestors ground yourself go outside get some fresh air mother earth is trying to communicate with you someone around you could be pregnant or you are cleanse your energy evil family just dis discussing how you make money disgusting energy fox Fox, coyote, Ugh. a bisexual or gay person could be involved. Uh, the rabbit, Sekhmet, Isis, Hafer, and Matt. You know when Matt pops up, you know justice, judgment. But anyways, Deja Vu, Epiphanies, Akashic Records. So when Akashic Records pops up, to me personally, it it's um, dreams about your past lives, stuff like that, little signs and signals and literally like epiphanies about your past life and what you're meant to do in this life. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yellow and orange. So that is your sacral and your solar plexus chakra, which is like, I think like around here.